Thanks. Directly behind a fast food restaurant dumpster just off a busy road southwest of San Antonio sits a ragged blue tent. A cook's been living there five nights a week for the last four months. A co-worker reached out to Fox San Antonio to share his powerful story and hopes cash for kindness will help turn his life around. I wanted to show you this, son. Night falls over this Sonic restaurant. It's the inside of the store, son. It's where daddy works. <laughs> With customers long gone, Antonio Lopez gets ready to settle in. This is where dad sleeps. His blanket and pillow next to the toilet, a welcome retreat from a tent out in the cold. Just so you know how hard that does work, son. His hauntingly beautiful video posted online for his four-month-old to one day see. One of Antonio's co-workers wanted us to see it too. Antonio, Ryan Wolf from Fox San Antonio. How are you? You have any idea what I'm doing here? We surprised the 32-year-old here in the parking lot before his shift. A friend dropped him off before his next five-day stint as cook. This is where he'll live. And I've been staying here for months, so this is my box for my trash. Antonio gives me a tour of his home, an eight-foot tattered tent. What little he has inside is damp. So what's this box for? This box, it stops it because this thing don't, don't close all the way, so I use it for my trash can, and when I close it, it stops the wind from going in there. Shortly after the birth of his son, Ray, Antonio says someone wrecked his family's only car. Faced with the reality of possibly losing his job, Antonio made a decision not many would choose. Me as a man, I feel like I, I'm trying to do everything I can for my son, and even if that means having to sleep where I work at, just to work. Abandoned by his parents, Antonio says he grew up in the foster care system. He struggled to make ends meet for his older two kids, spending a year in federal prison. Their decisions he's vowed not to make again. I'm, I cry every night, I really do. I mean, it's, it's real hard for me, sir. It, I mean, I, I'm more embarrassed than anything. Antonio has no idea he's been nominated on Cash for Kindness. I read to him how his dedication to family and work has inspired. I think he deserves this because I don't know anyone who would camp outside his work in the wet or the cold weather just to get to work to provide for his family. Antonio's girlfriend knows the sacrifices he makes. He didn't think anyone else would care. How do these words from your coworker make you feel? I mean, it, they're calling you an inspiration. I'm not a homeless person. I'm not a bum. I'm out here working, you know, doing what I have to for my son. And I, I'm not out there asking people for handouts. I have a program on Fox San Antonio. It's called Cash for Kindness. I'm going to hand you this. I want you to count that for me in 100s. 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. And I really am grateful. I mean, it's, it's just been hard, man. And this, this will give me a break on something, man. And can I help you? Yes, absolutely. God bless you, my friend. Now Antonio gets a friend to pick him up and drop him off before and after each work week. But now with our thousand bucks, he's purchased a gas-powered bike. He hopes to no longer have to sleep in that tent. Do you know somebody who deserves $1,000 on Cash for Kindness? Nominate them at foxsanantonio.com. Just click on the news section to find that featured link. And while you're online, chat with me about tonight's story on my social media pages. I can provide additional information about Antonio, and I have some behind-the-scenes stuff you're going to want to check out. To find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, just search Ryan Wolf.